tragedies, unsolved mysteries, stories we never really got the answers to. But as Malaysians, these stories are need to know and they mustn't be forgotten. Mazna Ismail, better known by her stage name Mona Fendi, was a pop singer and water ballet dancer back in the day. But her career in the arts was rather short-lived and not why she is famous. After leaving the music business, she and her husband Nor Afandi Abdul Rahman allegedly made a living as witch doctors or as Malaysians call them, bomos. She began offering her services to mostly upper-class clients, which reportedly included high-profile politicians. In July 1993, an assemblyman for Central Pahang, Datuk Mazlan Idris, was said to have approached Mona for help to boost his political career and climb the party ladder. According to reports, Mona asked for 2.5 million ringgit in return, Mazlan paid a 500,000 ringgit deposit and gave her and her husband 10 land titles as surety for the remaining 2 million. He was persuaded by the couple to take part in a ritual in which he was lying on the floor with his eyes closed, waiting for the money to fall from the sky. However, there was no money and instead, his head was chopped off with an axe and he was then dismembered and partially skinned. Mazlan was reported missing on July 2nd. On July 22nd, his body was found buried in a cement-covered hole, cut up into 18 parts near Mona's home in Pahang, after which she, her husband and their helper, Jurami Hussein, were arrested. They were tried at the Tamarlo High Court by a seven-person jury and all three of them were found guilty of murder and sentenced to death by hanging. The case lasted just over a month, but it only took the jury just 70 minutes to reach a unanimous verdict of guilty against all three of them. Mona, Afandi and Juraimi filed appeals to the federal court, but in 1999, the court dismissed their appeals and upheld their death sentence. They also sought to obtain clemency from the Pardons Board of Pahang, but they were unsuccessful. Eventually, more than eight years after Mazlan's murder, Mona, Afandi and Juraimi were sent to the gallows at Kajang Prison on November 2, 2001. The strange part about this story is that Mona seemed to love the attention she was getting from the whole thing. Throughout the trial, she was always cheerful and never turned down a photo op. During her time in prison, there were sensational stories that she would go around muttering incantations, which allowed her to do out-of-the-ordinary things, like remove handcuffs like jewellery and even leave the prison to go out for a drink and be back by dawn. It was also reported that during her execution, she smiled calmly and said the words, Aku takkan mati, meaning I will never die, although it's obviously unclear what she meant by that. While Mona Fendi never really gained fame as a singer, her story as a bomo and a murderer remains a popular topic among Malaysians till today.